What's your greatest fear? <gasps> well, whatever it is, shellfish probably isn't too high on your list, unless you're allergic. But trust me, these clams can kill you. And I'm not talking about allergies. <gasps> Why is the blood clam so dangerous? And what does it have to do with a killing spree in China? Animals with human blood. A highly contagious virus. No, not that one. And most terrifying of all, water filters. <laughs> Don't clam up. What you learn in this video could save your life. A blood clam is a mollusk with two shells that protect the soft, delicious flesh inside. And that's where the horror begins. Opening up a blood clam is like stumbling into a gruesome crime scene. Unlike other mollusks, the blood clam's blood is red like ours. And like human blood, the blood clams contains hemoglobin, an iron-rich protein that binds to oxygen and helps transport it throughout the body. This clam needs hemoglobin-rich blood due to its natural habitat. Blood clams prefer to settle in muddy waters with low oxygen levels. Once you get over the shock of seeing the red blood, the flesh inside can delight you with its mild and savory taste. But is enjoying it worth the risk? These clams have claimed countless human lives. In 1988, the Jiangsu province of China was in the midst of a horrible viral outbreak. Sound familiar? That time, it was hepatitis A. Hepatitis A is a lethal virus that can cause liver failure and even death. Meanwhile, in Shanghai, blood clams killed 31 people and made 300,000 more really sick. Curiously, the people killed by blood clams in Shanghai had all the symptoms of those killed by hepatitis A in Jiangsu province. To solve this mystery, we'll have to dive deeper. The killer blood clams came from Qidong, a city in Jiangsu on the Yangtze River. It's also called the Yellow River. It once got so polluted, it turned blood red. But don't blame the clams for that one. Due to poor sanitation, human waste loaded with hepatitis A got into the water supply where the blood clams lived. And the blood clams' unique water filtration abilities turned this situation from bad to deadly. Blood clams feed by sucking in a whopping 40 liters of water each day. The dirty water goes in, phytoplankton in the water gets stuck in the clam's filter feeders, and the clam pushes clean water out. As the clam feeds on the microscopic phytoplankton, viruses and bacteria can settle inside the clam's flesh. The number of viruses and bacteria grows as the clam filters more water. This process is known as bioaccumulation. So those blood clams were living in polluted water and infected human waste. Case closed, Giros. Shanghai banned blood clams until the year 2023. But something tells me they might extend that ban. If you do find a place in China that serves them, keep in mind that 14 to 16 percent of people could get infected with hepatitis A from eating these clams. There's no way to cook infected blood clams that will kill the virus. But if you have a safe source for these mollusks, boil the clams. Recipes recommend different amounts of time, but wait until the clams open a little bit. And before you buy or order them, always ask where your blood clams came from. Typically, if they come from a highly populated area with high pollution levels, you might want to choose something else. If you love trying all the most dangerous foods, check out Cashews Are So Strange. It's up next on Origins of Food.